First, today I'm gonna upgrade my uh, laptop with an SSD as well as a RAM. Uh, so why do we need to do this is the question. So the main thing is that everyone faces the issue of a slow laptop after you buy after a couple of years or something like that. You'll fill it up with all the files and your normal HDD doesn't have the performance ability to tackle that kind of stuff. So there comes the uh, part of SSDs so we are going to install it on my laptop today so you have to unscrew all the screw and remove the uh, back cover of the laptop and be careful not to lose any screws um, so there are around nine nine screws in the laptop so carefully remove everything one by one and you just have to remove the cover so you have the motherboard that is the ram slot and i have included a 16 gb extra ram it supports 32 gb in total in two two slots with 16 per slot so this are the this is the close-up of the motherboard and with different specs of the laptop so it came with a one tb hdd that is the uh, ssd that i installed it's from kingston and it's a pretty good one you just have to unscrew the screw on the left side two ram slots are there the hdd and a very nice battery so uh, if in case you are planning to do this it, it, it is very important to know that you'll not get the warranty so do it only when your warranty cover is done i'll not be responsible for any loss in that kind of stuff so to just compare between the SSD and HDD already installed, I am using a disk analyzer. So, in I'm already filled up the SSD with 73% data, and that is the read speed and write speed of the uh, SSD at a different threshold or different load. As the load goes up, it is going down. The read speed is going down. So you can see the read speed of an SSD is around 1.6 GB per second. So uh, that is the main feature that brings all the performance changes. For example, using an SSD, uh, you, your performance is drastically changing like the boot speed, the way it handles all the processes as well as the uh, application, the heating issue and it faces a hell lot of differences. So now we are going to compare the HDD uh, that is having only 0.31. Uh, GB per second same same unit is going on so that is the change full change you look at the full change so if you're planning to do anything like uh, upgradation do it on your own risk you can do it on your own if you have the confidence to open the laptop do it uh, it, it does make a hell lot of difference so that is all about the upgradation process I hope you all enjoy the video if at all there is any questions that I can answer or the price range is a 45k for the SSD as well as the same price for 16 GB RAM. Actually it's kind of expensive but it's affordable. So if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Have a great day.